Yo! Hi, Jason from jasonyourmark.com. I am finally getting around to doing a video blog post, and I thought what better way to do that than with a product review. Uh, first things first, this up here, not not me. That's that's the wifey foo-fooing up the house, so let's just forget about all of that and concentrate on the review, which is today we're talking about the Toshiba Netbook NB205, this little beauty right here. Uh, as most of you may know, I am a big fan of the MacBook, having grown up on PCs, uh, fell in love with that, and that is my main machine, so I certainly look at this as a secondary machine, something that can be used as a backup, or if you're doing some traveling and don't really need some heavy computing, obviously a netbook is the way to go. Um, the Toshiba, the reason I went with this model is because it, the quality, the build quality on this is amazing. Um, I'm a big fan of really good build quality. The Macs are solid in that regard, and PCs have typically, or no, notebooks have typically uh, not in that case. But the Toshiba actually is really, really solid. Um, I, I recommend going to a Best Buy. I think they're the only ones left out there selling these things. Um, and, and actually checking out the netbooks. Like, go and, and kind of play with them and kind of pick them up, and you'll see right away that the Toshiba is by far the best the, the Cadillac uh, of all netbooks right now. Um, some of the things I really love about it uh, is the key pad, or the, the keys. Um, just like a Mac, that kind of have a similar uh, keyboard to, to a Mac. Uh, really good tactical feedback. Um, really solid keyboard. I really like that about it. Um, the other things that are just great about it is just the overall build quality. It feels like something that, if you dropped it, it might actually survive the fall. Um, some other great things, it's got all the, the standard netbook uh, amenities. You've got your Wi-Fi built in, you've got uh, three USB ports, you've got your display out so that if you want to connect it to a monitor, you can do that. Uh, the trackpad and mouse pad is great, not obviously my favorite, I like the, the MacBook style, but um, for a netbook it's great, full size, and it works pretty well. Um, comes with your uh, memory card slot, so if you've got, obviously, your digital cameras and whatnot, that's really handy. You don't have to have an extra dangle for anything like that. Um, battery life is amazing on this thing. I can get through an entire day using it, practically seven to nine hours, so what they're saying is fairly accurate in terms of battery life. It's, it's quite amazing in that regard. Uh, it runs Windows 7. Uh, starter, so it doesn't have some of the fancy aero display graphic thingies, but to be completely honest, when you're using a netbook and a screen of this size, uh, I don't know that you really need that. I mean, you could actually put Windows Premium on here. I wouldn't recommend it, um, because really, if you're getting a netbook, it should be acting as a backup, and you're probably only doing some email, web browsing, some light document work. I don't think you really need some of the bells and whistles that comes with the heavier grades of Windows. Um, comes with a web camera, so it's nice if you ever want to do any web chatting or recording, such as this. Um, and uh, I've noticed that performance-wise, not too bad. Uh, it comes standard with one gig of RAM. I really recommend getting the two gig RAM chip upgrade. Uh, I don't know why they don't just include that with the price of memory these days, but uh, they don't. So if you get one of these, uh, definitely go to Amazon or Crucial or whatever, get yourself a 2 meg RAM chip, replace it really easy to do in the back. You just take this right off here and uh, you can replace the 1 gig chip with the 2 gig chip and uh, you'll see some definite performance gains there. Um, definitely slower than a normal notebook, uh, but once you put that memory upgrade in, it's not too bad. Again, as long as you're not doing any heavy application type of work, you should be uh, fine does take a little getting used to with um, the size of the screen, so you don't have a lot of real estate to do a lot of uh, work, but you kind of get used to it if you're using it in the right way. Some of the things I'm not happy about with this. The battery is kind of big and bulky, you can see here, kind of sticks out, um, adds a little weight, uh, which isn't a bad thing, but it's more along the lines of it just kind of protrudes out kind of far 
on the on the netbook, and uh, most netbooks don't have a battery that big. Obviously, the battery life is probably um, coincides with the size of the battery, so it's something you just kind of have to live with. You can remove it, and you can't buy an extra, which is nice, so that you have extra battery life. Um, the speaker, god awful. Um, it's almost unusable. I, I don't even know why or they put in the kind of speaker that they did on this thing. You can barely hear it, and uh, if you're going to listen to music or do anything, headphones is a net, you have to have headphones with it. You, you just can't really hear anything with the speaker. That's really the biggest drawback uh, with the machine is that the speaker is just awful. They really need to, to do something about that. Uh, but other than that, I really love this machine. Um, it's uh, it almost reminds me of a Mac in a, in a lot of ways from a build quality standpoint. So I highly recommend it. I believe you can get them for between three fifty, four hundred dollars, uh, roughly, uh, online. And um, obviously, you're gonna pay a little bit more, maybe another thirty, forty bucks for that RAM upgrade. But it's a great machine. Uh, I love having it as a secondary machine. I look forward to traveling with it rather than carrying on a full size. And uh, definitely recommend it. Uh, check it out. Go to the your local Best Buy. Um, you'll see once you pick it up and kind of play with it that it is definitely um, a higher build quality than most netbooks out there. And uh, obviously, if you if you buy it using that link down there, I get like a dollar from Amazon, so that'd be appreciated. Not really. It doesn't matter to me. But uh, that's the Toshiba netbook review. Hopefully you found this useful, and uh, maybe I will review other products in the near future. Thanks for your time, and thanks for visiting jasonyormark.com.